Welcome back to my channel. Today on Logan Speed Shop, we're working on headlights. We have the Lexus here with some terrible yellow age lights, which we're going to work on recovering. I've already played around with the passenger side. About as good as I can get with the amount of effort I want to chuck into it. A hell of a lot better than this. I'm just going to work, show you how I work through the process. A quick, simple setup that anyone could do with minimal materials. So before I get into it, I'll show you what I've got. For the final setup, we've got the drill, a little bit of bone pads, some cut and polish. We've got some sandpaper, just half sheets leftovers now. We've got 3,000, 2.5, 2,000, a foam pad, some masking tape, and some glass cleaner. Super easy to do. Obviously, the more effort you put into it, the better result you're going to get. For the likes of this car, it's going to be a quick, easy one. Get it clean like the other side. That'll be enough to make the car look presentable to sell. Might end up doing the spotlights as well. We'll see once this headlight's done if they look like they need it. At the moment, they're nah, so-so. But yeah, let's get into it. So to start with, before we get into anything, we're just chucking some masking tape around the edge, just a couple of layers, just to protect the paint, just in case we go off course. We've got our foam pad, we've got some 2000. Just using glass cleaner as a bit of a lubricant. That way when I spray it on, you, well you don't get stuck, wet and dry sandpaper needs a little bit of lubricant to stop the friction and I also have a rag just to wipe off the mess as I go. Get a bit of a, an action shot now and just show you along the steps. Quick easy process, I know there's better ways to be doing this but I want to show you something that anyone can do with cheap easy materials. First time over with 2000, looks good. Gonna move on to two and a half, follow the exact same process, then on to 3000. Not gonna bother showing you guys the steps. We all know what sanding looks like. I'll move on to the end when we're done the 3000, show you what it's like before we polish it. Quick and easy. All right, as you can see, when we're on the 3000, it's already starting to polish it, so we're getting rid of a lot of the little scratches. We're starting to find out how clear the headlight's actually gonna get. These headlights, they've got a little mark, a lot of marks on the inside, actually damaged from the sun, but we'll get them pretty good. Just keep going. Once the sanding's done, the masking tape can come off. Pile of rubbish, but yeah, now we just have to remask it, give it some polish. As you can see there, she's nice and cloudy, just because it's a bit scratched up from the sandpaper. But we'll run the masking tape around it, grab the cut and polish. And give it a bit of once over and we should get a nice clear result shortly. light polish later and it's looking a hell of a lot better you can see in there there is a lot of sun wear and sun damage and that's just something of an old lie so being able to polish it up sand and polish it up like this and get this sort of result so easily about 15 minutes in the light can't go wrong obviously the longer you spend sanding the longer you spend polishing you're going to get a slightly better result but it's going to be dependent on your base headlight good easy way to tidy up your car and make it look cleaner have a look at that now. 